What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Good to have you along on the channel today. And today I have a very exciting video because I'm going to be showing you guys a mod which I've been wanting to create for a whole long time. And finally, I've had someone make it for me and this is absolutely sick in my opinion. I just want to preface this video by saying this mod does give you an advantage which is unfair when you're playing against other people. So for example, if you're playing Jules, turn it off. You risk getting banned if you use this mod. Also, if you're playing in a tournament, absolutely turn this off. And even if you're just playing challenge links against other people turn this mod off because it gives you an unfair advantage and that's against the spirit of the game so just a heads up but let me go and show you guys what exactly goes on inside this the GeoGuessr training mod created by me and Miracle Whips okay so basically you're sitting here trying to learn GeoGuessr you want to get better at the game you're just playing by yourself and you install this mod let's see exactly what it can do now run through the changes and kind of include the cool ones towards the end but here is one change which I really like and that is you can have both compasses available on the screen which is impossible in normal GeoGuessr and we've actually color coded the different colors of the modern compass as well. So one of the primary advantages of the old compass is that red faces north. Well here you also have red facing north and then blue facing south or like light blue. So this definitely helps you differentiate when you are in a split second trying to work out which direction you're facing and you have both compasses anyway so basically you've got everything you could want. Then adding to that there's also this feature where you're trying to line yourself up here you press n and it lines you up perfectly north south so this is the exact angle of the road and if i'm looking like this i can just hit n and it will take me to look south in the direction i was looking i mean north or same thing um yeah so this is actually just a really really nice little change quality of life obviously you can't use it for speed runs or anything like that but just nice if you're trying to line up the road when you're practicing okay so let's get into one of the big boy changes here this is terrain disabled slash enabled so on the normal map here you can see that the the GeoGuessr map, it does include some level of terrain and you kind of have to zoom in quite a lot to see where the mountains actually are. It's just very muted. For example, if you're in a fairly flat place like Georgia, you can see that yes, we can see that the roads are kind of windy so we can assume there are some hills rather than it being completely a grid. Um, but at the same time, we don't see the actual elevation here. It's, it's actually impossible to see. However, if we turn on terrain mode, all of a sudden you can see the hills that are actually everywhere in a place like Georgia. Even though it is a relatively flat place, with the terrain mode on, you can see all the little hills, and then if we zoom out, oh yeah, you get the absolute mountains experience. So pretty much this exaggerates everything. And so let's like turn our attention to Uruguay, which is a country I was recently trying to practice. You can see exactly where it gets more hilly, where it should be more flat. Um, and it just really helps you with learning a country. You do have to adjust to it a bit, but this is definitely the superior way to learn a country, especially because in some countries that are relatively flat, where the small hills are versus where the kind of bigger hills are can be a big difference in terms of how you region guess. So, I mean, Mexico, where we are right now, is a very mountainous country indeed, but we can definitely use the kind of things we see here to make a better guess. We can say, okay, well, this is a fairly mountainous place and we see kind of lots of like smaller looking ridges here. Maybe this is like around, around this kind of region or something like that. Well, it's actually not fairly similar landscape though. And so it can really help with that kind of thing. So um, yeah, this is just a really, really nice feature. And now I'm gonna show you maybe the biggest feature of them all. This one, actually, this is a great round to demonstrate why this is such a good one. So here we are facing north. We have to the west, these power lines, and we also have some white sand. So I think I know the road here. Um, let's uh, just line it up here. So we press the north button. This is the exact north south. Now we're gonna click over here to the coverage button. And this is actually gonna show you everywhere where there's coverage, which I mean, for new players, this is going to be a massive, massive thing. And it only shows you, I believe, the official... Oh, no, it actually does have the unofficial stuff as well at the moment. But I'm sure that'll get patched eventually. Um, but yeah, this is uh, going to be this road up here. We can see the angle and we can see that this one has coverage. So if I got confused and I wanted to try and like guess this road over here or something like that, I wouldn't have to. I know there's no Google coverage there um, or at least any coverage at all. And actually, yeah, this one is covered to the hills. I forget that all the time. So it's really good, I mean, for Botswana. For Botswana, this is literally the best script for practicing. You really shouldn't practice it um, if you, without this script from now on, I feel. Uh, but okay, let's uh, actually line up the road here. Um, you know, this kind of angle here seeming quite nice, I think, indeed. Then we can look to see if there's any off-roads or anything like that. I mean, there should be. It's ACW, so there should actually be something intersecting. Let's try it going right here. And uh, 
yeah, it wasn't it wasn't quite the right angle, but you can see it was the right road. And uh, yeah, this is actually just very useful practicing a country like Botswana insanely. Um, obviously, Namibia's com coverage is not there yet, so it's not it's not actually working maybe exactly as intended just yet. And then yeah, the other main feature here is that you can also uh, cover the car, so we can make it to the slim um, car coverage. Um, and then you have to just press F5 to reload the page and then you should have the smaller car covering uh, this. So yeah, you're not gonna see the antennas or anything like that. And then if you want the big one, then we press refresh again and we will see the big blur to cover up most Google cars. So this is also a very cool feature. Nice to just, uh, if you're like kind of getting too like reliant on a car or something in a certain country, um, then switch that on and, you know, just vary up the gameplay. It's really just like the full package here. Now I'm about to show you guys how to install it and the final epic feature, but I want to say to you guys, anyone who downloads this mod, some of you students, young people, you won't be in a position to give money. That is fine. But if you're an adult and you're using this script or if you have a full-time job or whatever, or you're just feeling generous, I highly recommend you come and support Miracle Whips. Now, even if you've never used any of his scripts before, you've definitely watched videos where I have. He's come up with a whole bunch of scripts for the community. And yeah, I think this mod is good enough and works well enough that it really warrants you donating at least a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna lead by example here, donate New Zealand 20 bucks. And yeah guys, there we go. It's a nice little way to say thanks for a man who's done a whole lot for the community. Back to what will for some be the most useful feature of them all. Um, here we are in Peru, I believe. Let's take a look around. We do see some Peruvian style poles here, I believe. So yeah, somewhere in Southern Peru, presumably with these super dry mountains. Let's go ahead here, check where the coverage goes. Of course, in Peru, it's another country where the coverage knowledge is quite useful. For example, this whole section here has no coverage at all. Uh, we do have big mountains there to our northeast and to our east and to our north. So yeah, this kind of landscape here, I feel like works quite nicely. So I'm just gonna try this kind of guess here. And okay, it was the, one of the next towns up, but that's okay. Now, over here, we have something cool. So one, you can en enable and disable the two settings we have here. Two, you can open up on Google Maps. But three, the coolest thing is that this actually hooks up to Anna's map maker by API. So we can click up here and it brings up a loading screen and then you can add it to any of the maps that you have over here. So I'm gonna add it to the test map and I'll show you what happens. So yeah, this is the map making app. Maybe some of you guys aren't familiar. It's really good for making and exporting GeoGuessr maps, but okay, we come over here, we load into the map and there we go. It's already saved here. So any location that you struggled with, anyone where you notice a certain pattern where it's kind of interesting to you, you can just hook it up to this and you can just export the location straight over to the map. And then maybe you make like a map out of your favorite locations, out of locations you found really difficult. If you're trying to learn Peru, you could make like a whole Peru map instead of test, you could just name it Peru. And then you could come in here and every time you get an interesting Peru location, add it, anything you want to learn, that kind of thing. So yeah, Anna's application is absolutely fantastic. So is Miracle Whips and yeah, they connect up via API. So yeah, let me quickly show you guys how to get this up and running. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and Google Tampa Monkey. Tampa Monkey is just the thing that you run the script from. I know it works in Chrome and Firefox, not exactly sure how it works elsewhere, but yeah, go ahead and download Tampa Monkey, add it to Chrome. Obviously links will be in the description. Next thing you're going to do is come over to miraclewhips.dev and you're going to install the GeoGuessr training mode. Now, once you've clicked that, it's going to take you into Tampa Monkey and you would press install here. Then once you've done that, you simply go over to GeoGuessr. I mean, it should just be enabled by default and you come over here and you would just refresh the page inside a game, it should start working. Now, if you have any problems, like consult with the comments, I'm sure people can help you out. Uh, but yeah, this is a fairly simple uh, like way of doing things. And obviously Miracle Whips has a bunch of other scripts here, which you could try yourself, many of which really will improve your GeoGuessr experience. So yes, I highly recommend you go ahead here and support Miracle Whips as well. And yeah, that is about it for the script. So yeah, I think this is like, just really, on the world map, it is useful. I think it's really useful though, especially for learning country specifically. If you are learning a particular country, you really gotta know where all the hills are and all the coverage is. And this is like the perfect tool for learning both of those things at once. And I'm really just like so blown away with how good it is. So yeah, really cannot recommend this to you guys enough. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have fun messing around with it. Again, got to emphasize, do not use this in any way where you're playing against other people because that is unfair. And also you run your the risk of getting banned either in tournaments or inside uh, duels. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, um, go... Uh, have a great time here. Thank me for, you know, coming up with the idea because I think it's low-key a banger idea. And uh, yeah, that is going to be about it for the video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Big shout-outs to Miracle Whips for this mod. And uh, yeah, 
yeah, happy uh, guessing, map making, all that kind of thing, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in order to get the API working, you go to user settings, and then you would go to API keys, then you would create an API, name it something like GeoGuessr Training Script, copy the API key, come over inside Tamper Monkey into training mode, just click into it here in the edit button over on the right hand side, and then paste it between these two commas here. I'm not gonna show you mine because um, then you guys could use it, but yeah, this is what you do. After that, once you have your map on MapMaker, it should appear inside the list after the round, and so you can save your locations. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, hopefully, Hopefully you guys enjoy using the scripts. Um, certainly I want to bring out some videos on my second channel, GeoGuessr Explained, where I actually use these to uh, some, get some really nice guesses. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time guys and goodbye.